Hello everyone, Lethal Concept here, and I'm here to do a short video on what I did with strike teams. Now, what are strike teams? Strike teams are groups of NPCs which you don't interact with, but you send them on missions to collect missions funds up here in the top right corner. You start off with one strike team at level one, and then you can recruit them at this page right here. So, what I did is, with the first one, you obviously send them on bronze missions, like my level 9 right here. I'm sending this group on bronze. I have three strike teams, one for bronze, one for gold, and one for silver. After it is done, you can debrief it, which will either succeed or fail, and you can have traits or negative traits depending on the results. Now, what I did is, after I bought my second strike team as soon as possible, and I both had them both running on bronze missions. Now, after a while, your your one of your groups will have about a four, forty-four percent, like here, or fifty percent, going into the silver missions. So what I did was I sent the highest group that I could into silver, and I kept sending one of the one of the other ones into bronze. Afterwards, the second group will either fail or or complete the silver mission and what I did is I kept checking which one had the higher success rate because the one that you put in bronze could could level up more and then actually have a higher success rate so after that what you did is what I did is I kept alternating the highest the second the group that has the highest chance in silver and after you succeed you only need to succeed once you get a load of experience and then you can constantly send that group just on silver and then you send the other group on bronze afterwards you check you check to see if the one that goes on silver can actually get a 33 to 24 percent chance on gold and after that that's high enough that you send them on gold now your traits are right here and traits affect the the conditions of the mission if you check on the missions you can see the uh, mission traits, alien present, remnant, and a host hostage situation. Now, if we select one, we can see that, so that some of these traits match the traits on the mission, and those will give you boosts in doing the missions. In all my time of doing this, I've sent my, I've sent a lot of my strike teams on gold. You can see right here, I've got a lot of gold loot boxes. I've only accrued one negative trait, so I encourage you to accept those 20 to 30 percent, 20 to 30 percent chance of success rates. The only negative trait I have is the poor intelligence from from this one, which gives you, I think it's negative 10 to key intelligence component. But I was lucky enough, if I can show you. I don't think I can show you, but I was lucky enough to have this this level 20 group here have a bunch of of plus 5 effectiveness to all instead of having a plus 10 effectiveness to a certain trait. So this is the main main group that I have going for gold missions. Now what you do with missions funds are that it allows you to buy item store item store usage for multiplayer. So this like this thermal clip storage gives gives you a couple of extra ammo in your weapons for 70 mission stones. That's really all it does and also gives you right here credit boxes which you can use and which you can discover during missions. These are only available in single player and since I haven't actually played single player I can't use them. That's all for today, hope you enjoyed the video, see you next time.